Hello. Welcome back. Oh. We are heading into Manhattan right now. In route. In route. We're going to hunt and fish for Rob's birthday. And hopefully we'll be there on time. I think we will be. I think we're gonna nail it. I think we're gonna nail it. We have a 15 minute window. We also have other people meeting us, so like if they're there, like it's fine. It's not right Um I was rushing to get ready, so I didn't have time to show you guys my outfit, but I will show you later. Maybe I can get Rob to like do a little clip. Um, so I can show you guys my outfit, but right now we are just gonna take a nice little drive into Manhattan. I'll show you guys our drive in. It's very cute. restaurant we went to I would just say the location is kind of like it's like in Times Square but the food and the inside of the restaurant is beautiful and then we went to uh, the classic car club after which you guys saw and yeah we had a great night it was just like good people good vibes like all, all, all right first thing we got was a washable rug I don't know if I like the color. It's like a runner. Because our runner, our vintage Turkish runner, our vintage Turkish runner got like kind of ruined in the flood. And so we're gonna give it to like, this guy that Rob knows that will so. clean it. R.A.S. Cleaners. R.S. A.R.I. A.R.A.S. A.R.A.S. Cleaners. Good friend of mine. So he said he's going to take it and he's going to try to like clean it. But for now, I wanted to get a washable rug just for the sake of having one. And then also for when spring and summer are here, I just think like a lighter rug will be cute. And I kind of like this. What do you think? Really nice. It's cute, right? Good colors. Yeah. It's like a lighter, yeah. paler version of the other one. It's like a good spring summer rug. Yes. And it goes in the wash. That's the most. That's important. Key. key. All of our rugs should be like that, because of someone that shall not be named. Okay, Kaya. <laughs> Kaya came in after being outside when it was like raining and snowing. Right after I changed our sheets, like our bedding. And we have white bedding, you guys know. Oh! And yes. Okay. Box over to. Hold on, my alarm's going off. I have a workout at 9.45, so my alarm was going off. Okay. Second box from Target. Oh, I forgot to order this. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so I got the Bissell, like, carpet cleaner. And, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I want to use this on 
um, our old kitchen chairs. These are obviously like, like a wicker rattan, but our old ones are fabric and we still have them for like when we have guests over and we need extra chairs because one of our friends spilled wine on it. <laughs> and then also, I want to see if this will work on our couch too, so I want to use it on the couch. Um, just because getting your couch professionally clean is like, it's a lot. So we used to do it a lot with our other couch, but um, yeah, I would, I'm hoping that this works really, really well and I can use this on our couch. And then I got these pillows. I got two of them. If you're new to my channel, I like to change out like my pillows and my pillow covers a lot. So these I thought were so cute because they were, I think they were like 20 bucks at $22. And I feel like they look like a like vintage pillow you would get on like Etsy or they look like like, I feel like these look like the Our House pillows, and they're nowhere near the price of an Our House pillow. And then I got some kitchen towels, which, oh, eh, which are underwhelming. So these are going to go back. I don't like these. I wanted, well, I don't know. Maybe we'll keep them. I have to decide. I, I, what I wanted was like waffle ones, and these are like a waffle print, but they're not actually waffle towels, so I didn't realize that. But anyway, that's my little Target haul, and I'm going to put this rug down and see if I like it. Oh, I like these pillows. They're so cute. They're so cute. Love that. Alright, let's try this rug out. <laughs> like, I'm trying to swap this out and I'm just finding dog bones everywhere. Right? You have dog bones everywhere. Okay, go forward. Forward. Good girl. So this rug rocks forever is going to take. I think it's cute, but I'm not sure. Kaya clearly likes it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna sit with it for like a second and see what I think. Cause I really liked the darker rug, but I felt like, I just felt like the darker rug like made it look a little bit more like like higher end like luxury and if like the lighter one is like cheapening up the space a little look at this dog I can't <laughs> she's so cute mm. yeah so I'm gonna leave that for like a second it's a really cute rug I just feel like our kitchen is so many colors <laughs> we obviously didn't pick it out because we rent but like our kitchen cabinets are like an orangey stain and then they put like this like black ish green marble and then they did like white and beige and gray like tiles so it's just a lot of colors and it's very dark No, these are going back. I don't like these. Um, I feel like they're like cheapy. Cheapy, cheapy. So these are going to go back. And then I'm going to decide about the rug.
Hello. It's been a few days since I vlogged. I think the last thing I showed you guys was my Target haul. And we do still have the rug down. And we decided to keep the runner. I wasn't really sure about it, but Rob really liked it. And he said he thought it was really nice. So we have that down there. And I'm just getting ready to go to work right now. So I wanted to show you guys this Nike long sleeve top that I got from ASOS. I got a few things from ASOS. So once I get back from work, we're going to do a little ASOS and Zara haul. Because I got those packages yesterday. And I just ordered some stuff off of Sense that was on sale. But it probably won't be here until the end of the week. So I'm just going to show you guys what I ordered and then the things that I've been like keeping in my wish list because they do have like really good sales on the Sense website and I think that could be fun to show you guys like my wish list and then because obviously I don't always buy everything otherwise I'd be like broke <laughs> but my hair is crazy I need to do my hair I need to do my skincare I need to make an iced coffee and then we gotta roll because I'm gonna be late okay it's gonna be a little rough on this road but I'm heading to work it's 7 40 right now and I thought I would take this time to just give you guys like a little recap of the last few days because I don't think I vlogged as much as I wanted to of the weekend, but basically Saturday night we went to this restaurant that was phenomenal. Highly recommend, especially if you are not local to New York and I find that a lot of people who don't live here like to check out Times Square and the restaurant is on 44th and 7th, so it's like right there. Um, I'll leave it down below it's called hunt and fish it's a little bit pricier it's a little bit of a nicer place so maybe keep that in mind but we decided to leave there and go to the classic car club I've showed you guys that spot before it is membership only so you can't just like go um, you do have to have a membership but it's super cute it's on the West Side Highway it's kind of like hidden it's kind of like exclusive which is what I like about it but we went there for drinks and then Sunday morning we went to the inn at Pound Ridge in Pound Ridge <laughs> which is like up it's up by like Bedford area really really cute area and then after we went to brunch Rob and I decided to check out some properties that we had seen around that area so we decided to just stay up there look at some properties and by the time we got home we were so exhausted and I had work to do for my job so we just came home chilled I did work he did work whatever that was our weekend and I'll insert some photos of the brunch place it's so cute the food is good it's definitely a limited menu but the food was so good. It's such like a vibey spot. I absolutely love the aesthetic. Let me check out the downstairs. There's like a cute bar downstairs. Really, really cool decor if you're into that. So that was our weekend. And then Monday, just went to work, ran some errands, tried to clean up the house, do some laundry, you know, trying to do my Sunday reset basically on Monday. And then yesterday it snowed here. So because of the snow, there was a lot of delays for school. Some of the schools just decided to fully give the kids off, which I thought was so sweet. And um, so my schedule kind of got turned around yesterday because I normally teach really, really early on Tuesdays and I taught like a much later class yesterday and decided to work out at night. So basically the last two days, we've just been like recovering. <laughs> Nothing fun has been going on. Today is going to be a full reset. I got in the Bissell vacuum, so I'm hoping I have everything I need for it to clean the couch. So I'm going to show you guys that. We're going to clean up my apartment, run some errands, and get our life in order today. So 
I wanted to give you guys just a little recap. I am going to go teach my classes and then I will catch up with you guys after. All right, we are home from work, just in my TV room. And I wanted to show you guys everything I got from ASOS. So I obviously already showed you this like Nike crop shirt. That's not from ASOS, that was just a shirt I threw in there because it was on the bed. <laughs> Um, these Topshop faux leather cargo pants. I will obviously link everything down below. But they're in this like green color. I came in here because you were in the other room. And now you're coming in here. Anyway, what I was saying. These are the pants from Topshop. They're coming up like very, very green on here, but they're actually not that green. They're more like toned down than that. But they're a faux leather cargo, little pockets. And I think they're so cute. And I got a black long sleeve shirt. I showed this in a previous vlog because I ordered a bunch of things that I liked, but they were all too big. So I got them pretty much all in the smaller size. So I got this black long sleeve. It's oversized. I got this in a zero. And I wanted this to like either tuck into things or leave like open and throw it over like a crop shirt or something so hopefully that fits i don't feel like trying anything on right now to be honest with you guys i just ate lunch so i'm feeling a little full but if there's anything like noteworthy about any of these items if they like run big run small i will let you know down below i'll also give you all the sizes down below of what i ordered if that's helpful and then the last thing I got which I was literally in love with when I ordered it the first time and it was massive I don't know why I ordered fours and everything I think I didn't realize it was already oversized and so like I thought I was getting it oversized but it was huge this shacket is obviously denim and the color of this is so good I love it and it's also snap buttons which like I prefer over the ones that like have the hole that you have to put them through but this I'm so excited about and this is I think just the ASOS brand yeah this and the black jacket are just the ASOS brand and then this is obviously Nike and then the pants were top shop so that's everything I got from ASOS Okay, Zara. This is Rachel Ottenry and Kelsey DePrima's fault. <laughs> because they posted such cute stuff that they found at Zara. And I just couldn't help myself. So, I actually already wore these to brunch on Sunday. But they are these, like, parachute cargo pants. They a little pocket here. You can see that. And drawstring waist, which is really nice. Which is why we wore them to brunch. <laughs> Two cute little pockets in the back. And they are full length, like, wide leg pants. So, I wore these on Sunday with my 550s. And then I wore a cropped um, Aritzia top with this and then a little blazer over it I was gonna wear this over it actually so I'll show you the only reason I didn't is because like I wanted to be a little bit more dressed up than dressed down for brunch for where we were going but I almost wore this over it which is similar to the denim one that I got from ASOS but it's obviously like in this neutral color same thing 
snap pockets just like a really cute denim jacket but this one's obviously in a different color i don't know what they call this color i don't know i already ripped the tag off because i was debating on wearing it on sunday <laughs> um yeah love that love the pants and i got two more things so got one more pair of pants Oy. these are the other pants i got and i haven't tried them on they have a drawstring on the bottom so you can tighten them or have them be a wider leg they have the same cargo pocket on the sides on both sides and then this one has a button and a little zipper so i do need to try this on i did get this in extra small small so you can only get extra small small or small medium so i just got the smaller of the two options and they have this styled on the website with a really cool poncho in the same colorway that i'm honestly thinking about getting but i just like I don't need it and I feel like anytime I buy a true jacket from Zara that's not like a blazer or a coat I only wear it for one season and then I end up getting rid of it which I'm trying not to do that anymore I want only pieces that I am going to keep forever that I can style a bunch of different ways and wear it over and over and dress up and dress down so I'm like building a capsule wardrobe for the most part obviously I don't need 80 pairs of cargo pants, but we're going to just ignore that that happens. Last thing I got, I've been wanting a denim skirt with a slit, and all of the ones I've been finding were so expensive that were cute. Obviously, you can find some that are less expensive, but like the style of the ones that were less expensive were just not, they weren't doing it for me. Like, I'm very picky about like, where the wet waistline hits, how long the rise is, where the slit is, like all that. I'm very, very picky about it. But I found this one and it has belt loops, which is also important to me because I want to wear this with a belt and a white cropped tee. I think that'd be so freaking cute. But it's in this like ivory color. The slit is up the front, which if you don't like that, then you're going to hate this. I'm sure they'll they have I think they have one that's in a denim color that has a slit either on the side or in the back but I wanted it in the front and I think this would be so cute to wear like with sneakers with boots with heels like I feel like you can wear this with anything I feel like you could dress it up you could dress it down um so I was super excited to find this I obviously need to try all of these things on I have not tried on some of them yet so again, I will leave any information about the way it fits or sizing, or if I return something, I'll let you guys know in the description below. But that's what I got from ASOS and Zara. And I also ordered some stuff from Sense, I told you this morning. So I'll just show you what I ordered on my phone since it's obviously not here yet. And I don't know if I'm keeping these two things I bought them because of an event that I have them in mind for but I got these um it's spelled we 11 done but I think the company's well done but anyway I got these jeans and they're still very expensive, but they're on sale. They were 63% off. And I like that they are fitted in the waist and then they go out at the hips since I personally am very like straight up and down. Like my body does not have much curve to it naturally. So I really like this, especially since I do like wearing crop tops to go out with. So I got those jeans and then this Alexander Wang T. Uh, sweatshirt you probably won't be able to see it on here but it does have like the logo on the shirt but I like that the sleeves are kind of like long and poofy and the torso is not so I'm hoping that that looks cute also it was on sale for 30 off so I got that and then the last thing I got was just a Mesa Margiela candle I love the fireplace scent so they had this they have this candle on sale um, for $27. So I got that candle. 
So those are the things I have already ordered. And I thought I would just show you guys my wish list because I don't know if that's like helpful or not. But these are things that I want and either are like a little too expensive or I don't have a place to wear them or whatnot. So let me see. This is my wish list on scents. These sandals are the rose sandals. They're actually from last year and I wanted them so badly, but they are just so expensive and yeah, I don't, they're not anything special, but I do know that the row does make very good, very high quality items. So I do think that they're really cute. I do think that they will stay in style. These pants are by Kitsune and I love them, but it's hard to wear them multiple times without spacing it out. And then this Kitsune sweatshirt, I actually don't at all need, at all. I just think it's cute. <laughs> I wear sweatshirts all the time, so the only way I would get this is if I go through my sweatshirts and I'm like, get rid of a bunch of them, but anyway. This Jill Sander bag on this side is actually like a bum bag, and I, I also think this might be a good option when Rob and I go to Europe because I hate having a shoulder bag, and I just find that these are so much easier when you're traveling, especially in Europe. These sneakers are on my wish list. They're Mason Margiela sneakers. I absolutely love them. I think they're so cute. This bag has been on my wish list for like three years. I've shown this bag to Rob a gazillion times. <laughs> um, I think the problem is like I don't know if I want it in black or brown. I keep going back and forth between which colors that I like. Anyway, there, you're going to notice like there's a lot of bags. This Jill Sander bag uh is black and gold i actually just bought a bag by songmont so i decided to go for a more budget friendly option for my black bag so this is just on here because i love it but it's literally more than double what i paid for my other bag and i think my other one is actually more versatile to be honest with you Another belt bag, this one is also Jill Sander. It's a little bit smaller. I really only have that one on there because the other one is a light color and this one's black, but I definitely prefer the style of the other one. This by far bag, I mean, do I need to explain the by far bags? I think they're amazing. I love them. I love mine. They're such a great price point and the quality is great and they're good size and I just love them. Anyway, these are St. Laurent sunglasses that I wanted. Alexander Wang oversized sweater. I like Alexander Wang sweaters. Um, some of these are unavailable, but the Salt and Stone SPF will come back in stock. I've been looking for chunky boots forever, and I have not pulled the trigger on any of them because I feel like I like the idea of them, but not actually. Like, I don't know that I would actually wear them because I have more muscular legs, so I feel like it doesn't look as good. I don't know. These bowls, I absolutely love. I do not need them, but they're stunning, I think. Anyway, more bags, by far, black Miranda shoulder bag, and then I have the black, I told you guys, the black Jacques, Jacques Mousse bag. It's the exact same one as the brown one, and then this Isabel Marat sweatshirt. I do love the Isabel Marat sweatshirts. I just, they're so expensive, you guys. I bought one from Revolve that was on sale, and I will say I, I bought it in a size bigger than my normal size because I didn't know how they fit, and they didn't have my size in stock anyway, so it didn't matter, but I didn't love the fit of it for how much it cost, so I was kind of surprised by that, but I really like the Houston logo sweatshirt, this one. Love that sweatshirt. Anyway, I thought it would be fun to just show you guys my wish list, um, things that I'm thinking about, my thought process when I put things in wish lists, like why maybe I haven't bought it, like I said, with certain items, I just don't have a need for them yet, but I feel like if I do have a need for them, I already have something in mind. But that was my sense wish list. They have really good sales for designer items, so they're usually my go-to. I also love net porte um, forward, Farfetch. Farfetch usually gives influencers codes, so I would maybe look for an influencer's code if you are going to order something from Farfetch. 
I am still reading this book. I have not kept up with my resolution to read a chapter every night, but I'm getting back on it. So my goal, today's March 1st, it's a new month. We're gonna read every single day. And I wanna finish this book today. I don't really have that much left, so let's see. I have, I'm on page 245. And there's 355 pages. So I think I can get through a little over 100 pages and get this finished today. And then I can start a new book. So that's my plan. 